Good morning. I hope you all are in good spirits. Like and subscribe. And if you are, are a subscriber, then hit the like for the algorithms. Thank you. I was going through my comments this morning and a person I will assume is a Caucasian asked the question, why is it that his, that that people do not tell black people that Caucasians who are Neanderthals educated us. I was going to answer and I kept deleting what I was going to say. The reality is this individual was so far down the rabbit hole of deceit, lies, and false innuendos, there is no way I could have pulled him up. It would be like trying to explain calculus to a person who does not understand math thematics. I would have had to go so far down the hole and it would be the hole of impossibility. The hole of impossibility. Never allow yourself to go down the hole of impossibility because it will only frustrate you. It will only cause frustration, especially if you allow yourself to debate lies. Let me read something to you that I wrote to myself. Never ever juxtapose truth against lies and innuendos for they always look for approval they do not search for truth they search for agreement to satisfy their desires to satisfy their their desires an example is that such is the nature of narcissism such is the nature of racists and white supremacists. The whole caused by ignorance only seeks to take others into the darkness of ignorance with them to satisfy their narcissism, to satisfy their narcissism. In other words, they are not looking for truth. They are looking for truth, approval, and validation against the winds of truth and facts. Now, the first thing I should have realized by this question is history has been whitewashed by Caucasians and the whitewashing of history is Caucasians telling you that they invented everything, they did everything, and they, in other words, educated black people. That is what white supremacy and racism does. And we all know history has been whitewashed. We can take a, an ex, and a beautiful example is Columbus discovered America. Well, we all know, and it has been proven scientifically and, anthropo and anthropologically that life started in Africa. Egypt is a part of Africa, which was named Alcubulan by the people who lived there, and they were dark people. So therefore, 
when they say Columbus discovered America and we know that people were in America, that means that person who tells you this is lying. They're lying and the lie is obvious. So when they repeat that lie, what do they want? It's not factual. They want approval. They want approval and agreement to satisfy their, nar their narcissism, which is an illusion, which leads to delusions and mental insanity. Therefore, to argue with such people will only lead to frustration if you try to prove truth and facts, or should I say juxtapose truth and facts against lies, innuendos, and imagination that seeks to satisfy a false desire which creates a false reality that leads to insanity. Do not share your intellect with insanity. The only thing that can happen is frustration. It can only lead to frustration. Do not go down that rabbit hole with them because all the ridiculous and non-factual things they say is like trying to go up stairs with someone holding your ankles trying to pull you back down because they are not looking for truth. They are looking for validation. Narcissists look for validation. They know the truth. They ignore the truth. They knew people were in America. So therefore, Columbus could not have discovered America. They know that life started in Africa and those people were dark complexion. So if there is life in America, it had to come from the people in Africa. So we must assume that the people in Africa was there before. Logic only dictates that which is true and can be proven. And for this reason, you do not argue with white supremacists, racists, and other delusional people because all they will do is seek to confuse you in order to confirm their narcissistic desires. Does this make sense to you? If this does not make sense to you, then there is something faulty in your ability to reason and I would suggest that you, um, I'm not going to suggest that you do anything. I mean, common sense is what common sense is. And even if I, and as I'm telling the people who understand what I'm saying, to, to even try to answer that question would be to take myself down that rabbit hole. So be careful because it's easy to get trapped in that rabbit hole especially when you want to help people. But you have to recognize when a person can be helped and when a person cannot be helped. Thank you. Like and subscribe. And if, you're, and if you are a subscriber, then I would like you to please hit the like button so that I can build up my algorithms so that my video will be displayed with other videos of a like kind. With that, have a beautiful day.
God's will be done.